Blessings, beautiful souls, Melanie Beckler here with our energy update for the powerful energy we're entering into around the March equinox, the exact point happening on March 19th, when there's a powerful awakening of crystalline energy within the earth, rising up to trigger this remembrance within humanity, remembrance and awakening to our true divine nature, to the higher light and frequency available to us now for us to be reborn into a new cycle of growth, of transformation, of remembering who we really are. So there's three key things that I want to share with you about this energy. And the first is that with this equinox, we're entering into this powerfully accelerated awakening period. So there's an acceleration of energy and an incoming intensity. The overarching intention or impulse from source, from the divine, from self for this period is that we remember who we truly are remember ourselves as self, as divine, reconnecting with the divine I am presence and beginning to embody this source, light, divine presence, spiritual substance to a greater extent in our lives. However, as we open to allow and receive the higher cosmic waves of light reminding us who we really are, experiencing and embodying divine I am presence, this creates a counterbalance where then whatever is out of alignment with this, whatever blockages or illusions or distortions or old traumas are still present within the field out of resonance with the truth, peace, I am presence of source, who you really are, these lower shadow aspects, wounds, blockages, traumas, rise to the surface in order to be faced, in order to be welcomed, in order to be released. Check out my video on letting go for more about how to do this. So this counterbalance point, embodying all that we are and simultaneously revealing where we're still caught up in the distractions and distortions and illusions of the material world is very much in the spotlight now. This is amplified due to the equinox on the 19th and then also the full moon eclipse on the 25th and then the new moon total solar eclipse on April 8th. It's often seen that the equinox is this powerful point of new beginning, the astrological new year. And the equinox, this new beginning happening, and then quickly followed by the intensity the eclipse cycle brings, points to this accelerated transformation and the emotional intensity and the acceleration we may feel as we're reborn into the next phase of our evolutionary journey as one humanity and as individuals. So know that as we enter into this intense, charged, accelerated phase, it is a powerful point of new beginning to get clear about your intention and also to consciously align and manifest what you truly desire in your life through resonance, through becoming a vibrational match for it, which is taking the time to consciously tune in, to dive into your heart, into the inner world, to open, allow yourself to receive all that is becoming available to you now, to embody and hold a higher frequency of light, to change your base level of vibration, 
so that when you're engaged in the mundane, in your ordinary reality, you're vibrating higher, shining, brighter, being of service in the world and to the collective through who you are, through all that you're allowing yourself to embody. And then as a result of this, facing, welcoming, allowing what blockages are still present in your field to rise to the surface and use the tools you have, letting go, aura cleansing, working with the violet flame to move through those old layers to embody an even higher extent of the truth of the divine being you are and through this, so much opens, new possibilities emerge as you claim this time as the time when you really take a quantum leap forward in your journey, in your life, in really aligning with your soul presence, why you're really here, liberating yourself from the illusions to embody truth to support and empower you in making the most of this powerful Equinox Gateway. I do have a brand new channeled series that's so, so powerful. You can check it out at angelactivation.com. This brings us to the second key thing to know about this Equinox Eclipse Gateway we're heading into, and that is that there will be initiation tests. Initiation tests that emerge in the form of relationships, in unexpected developments and events, things that are destined to happen that suddenly appear that could be shocking or chaotic or uncertain, but that actually come from your soul, from the divine, offering you an opportunity to prove that you're ready for the next level. We often think of initiation as this glorious transcendent moment of light and pure communion with source where we remember, I am. And initiation is that. But initiation can also be a immense challenge or even a traumatic situation that happens in your life that catapults you into this new reality, into this new perspective, into the new world. And these sort of initiation tests that arise now are destined to help you remember who you really are and also to reveal all that's standing in between where you are now and what is possible. So the key to navigating through these tests, through the intensity, through whatever challenges or distractions or illusions within reality that arise is to stay centered, to return to center, stay grounded, stay present and cultivate leaning into every moment, every experience with gratitude. When we're able to lean in to whatever is happening in our lives with gratitude, the gifts, the wisdom, the opportunity in challenge, the silver lining is able to emerge and appear. When a challenge happens, rather than falling into that old victim consciousness of why me, why is this happening, to give thanks knowing that it is for a divine reason, or knowing that because of that challenge, something else, something else is going to emerge. Now, I'm not saying I'm, I've perfectly mastered this. This is something I'm going to be working on as well. And we can support ourselves in this by practicing gratitude with repetition now tuning into gratitude for everything in life, every day going through all the things we have to be thankful for. And when we're triggered by something or something challenges us, tuning into gratitude for that. The other part of these initiation tests can be viewed through the remembrance that we are multidimensional beings. 
And a big part of this accelerated awakening phase is really coming into maturity of who we are as multidimensional beings, knowing that the divine you, your higher self, already exists, already is. It's a part of your multidimensional nature. So your fully ascended self, it's not about becoming something you're not. It's about peeling back all that's blocking you from that expanded level of perception. So awareness of what you're holding on to that you would be best served in letting go of. And then also the awareness that your higher self already is, the divine you already exists. And the entire energetic phase we're entering into is about empowering you to embody that. Now it's simply a matter of your cultivating the right conditions for this to unfold. So awareness of where you're getting caught up in distraction and then shift. Awareness of what habits or practices would support you and then step into them. Cultivating the right conditions for your embodiment, for you to master whatever tests that arise and step in to the next level, the next phase of becoming who you truly are claiming all that is truly possible for you in your life, which as a multidimensional being encompasses so much. There's so many gifts of your soul, past life memories and wisdom and knowledge and power that's simply up to you to claim through resonance, through allowing, through tending the soil of the garden of your life. So the seeds that have been planted by your soul, by the divine, can sprout and grow and blossom and thrive. So you can thrive as a multidimensional being fully present in this physical realm here in earth in your life. And to do this, the third thing to know about this equinox gateway is to claim your power. Some of you know that I was recently traveling in Egypt and I had so many powerful experiences beyond the beyond, experiences, initiations, remembrance of my multidimensionality, of gifts, past expressions of my soul, really so much. But one moment that came to mind that corresponds with this equinox gateway happened in the temple of Karnak in the chapel of Sekhmet, where I was going within and just allowing, feeling these waves and waves of light. I had a vision of Sekhmet who stepped forward before me and roared. And with her roar, it was this transmission of energy and frequency where all of these blockages, all of this illusion, so many old energies were just blown out of my field. And I wish I remembered everything she said, but the essence of the message was claim your power. Remember who you are. Claim the power of all that you came here to be, embody, and become. And a part of that claiming the power is simply letting go of all that you're not. Letting go of all of the beliefs you've carried up into this point of time that aren't true, that aren't valid, that aren't serving you, but for some reason are being perpetuated. What patterns and habits and perspectives are only limiting you and weighing you down, blocking you off from the extraordinary being of light you truly are. Amidst this equinox eclipse gateway, there's simultaneously this remembering who you are, tapping into that light and power, grace, divine love, acceptance, and then recognizing where you're not where you're blocked, where you're struggling, where you're looped up in old energies, thought patterns, densities, emotional challenges, accepting 
both of these, welcoming both of these into the heart of divine love where you're able to transmute and let go of what no longer serves you and claim the power, claim the divine essence, claim the truth of the higher levels that you are, that are becoming available to you now, for you to embody, to empower you, to thrive, to grow, to free yourself from the layers of illusion and blockages, blocking you off from that remembrance that I am. Stay grounded, open your heart, because this new phase may feel a bit intense, There may be challenges, there will be tests, but so much is on offer. A new level of embodied expression as soul, a new level of claiming your gifts, of standing in your power, of shining the full brilliance of light you came here to bring to this earth in this time of transition is on offer, is here. Claim it. Let's draw a card from the Ascension Angel cards. Again, I have a new channeled series for this gateway that you can check out at angelactivation.com. So we have three cards that jumped out. The first card is the past life experience card that came up challenged. So much of the traumas that you've faced in this life The challenges that unfold are actually tied to the past. Don't take it personal. Claim the opportunity to cleanse your energy, elevate your light, remember who you are, entering in, in the moment, into the center of the center of the center, where you reach that access point of infinite divine love that holds the power to cleanse and transmute whatever distortion is present, empowering you to shift, and rise to claim a higher octave of living in alignment with your light, of welcoming the force of life, the life force energy that is accelerating, that is uplifting, that seeks to nurture, support, and remind you who you really are, empowering you to thrive in an entirely new level that's on the other side of letting go and opening and allowing and then taking action in alignment with this elevated state to anchor the blessings of new consciousness, of source, of the divine into your physical life. I want to draw one more card. There we go. In this new phase of acceleration, The possibilities truly are infinite. Infinite blessings are in store. Breathe and become aware. Allow yourself to open. Allow the light to fill your chakras. Allow the light to inspire and remind you of who you really are as you grow, open, expand, become all that you came here to be as a soul, as a divine being, as a light being here in physical form. Breathe and remember. Breathe and become aware. I am. And with whatever arises, retain that perspective. I am divine. So whatever challenge emerges, this is supporting me in remembering. This is a part of my evolutionary journey. With this, we're able to welcome everything that unfolds with gratitude, using everything for our awakening, claiming the precious opportunity of this life right here and now. I hope this is helpful for you. I love, honor, and appreciate you. I send you my love and blessings. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like it, comment below, and let me know what stood out to you. Check out angelactivation.com, and then I'll see you in the next video.